ZB7. That looks just like B. It is. It was attached to the Devil's Brigade. Pretty vicious military unit. Helped to turn the tide of war, you know. Dein Laden bitte? We're not invited. <laughs> He's so nice. Behind the lines during the war, they called him many things. Nice was never one of them. See, it all began in 484 AD when King Arthur and his wizard Merlin stared down and vanquished the Saxon hordes at Monk Baden. And that's his sword and his mace there. It's a myth. Yeah, every legend, every myth, every story whispered around the campfire has a logical explanation. Well, with that, I agree wholeheartedly, but logic has left the building. You're talking about magic. What, like you're a walking, talking Lamborghini? Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Arthur C. Clarke. Impressive. Yeah, count him. Zero student loans, doctor or professor, philosopher, whatever you call yourself. It's all of the above. Now, this place was built around the original round table. Percival, Gawain, Tristan, Lancelot. They sat right here. Twelve in all. And behind them sat the twelve who came from Cybertron. We fight for honor. We fight for the human race for all that is good in mankind. The brothers old and brothers new. No sacrifice, no victory. Twelve alien knights who saw in Camelot what the human race could be at its finest. Race of honor. You ruined the moment again. I was making the moment more epic. Just be quiet. What's the matter with you? If I could find his neck, I'd strangle him. This belonged to King Arthur himself. Now, legend held that one last knight would someday be chosen, and the struggle to save the world would begin. It would appear, Mr. Cade, that that last knight is you. What? You're saying you traveled the whole universe to find me? No, not you specifically, not a, a failed inventor from the state of Texas. No, God forbid. Stop it! What? You know, if you don't stop it, I will send you back to Cybertron in a little tiny box. Oh, scary.